Center Square at Berkeley Jr. From his big NBC hit show, Elf. Come back to life, Tim Fields. From number one NBC, number one president, Brendan Cardicoff. From two folks for comfort, Jim J. Bullock. From TV's dynasty, Emma Chan. From his new talk show, Will Schreiner. Thank you, Shadow Stevens. What a voice he has. Welcome to the second year of the all-new Hollywood Squares. Hello, Squares. Hello. Hello. It is Tuesday on our second day back. As you see, Shadow Stevens is on camera this time. We have uh, two talented and intellectual people on this side of the room. Only two. I'm not in that category. On my left, our challenger, Heidi Ruth. Welcome, Heidi Ruth, to the show. Thank you. Hello, John. Tell the stars all about yourself. I'm from Cerritos, California. Ooh. I'm a physical education major at Long Beach State and I teach tap ballet and jazz lessons for the city of Cerritos, and I'm very excited. Yes, you are, aren't you? That's good. You want to hold a paper clip while we do the show? Like, uh, on my right, our reigning champion, Carl Cox. Welcome back, Carl. I'll go with Kim Fields From for the block. From Cox of Life, Kim Fields is here all day. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Don't start. Kim, you've yeah. been on Facts of Life since you were nine years yes, old. Yes, I was. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Long before that, a popular television show featured a character who spent lots of time asking for just the facts, just the facts. What show was that? This was before 69, so it's before my time. Most so. things were before your time, Kim, yes. Uh, just the facts, just, just the, the facts. facts. Dragnet? This is for the block. Heidi? I'll agree. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Circle gets the square. I think both of you are about four years old. <laughs> You're both guessing, but you can. Over to you, pick a Thank square. You, Will Schreiner for the block? Yes, that's one way to do it. Will Schreiner has a brand new show. Oh. Thank and you, John. In Los Angeles, Will, the Will Schreiner Show is on at 10 o'clock, and we're on early. You're on a couple hours after us on Channel 9, right? Yeah, it's tough fill, uh, shoes to fill, but I think yeah. we can, uh, we're yeah. going to try. <laughs> There's your question. Something called the Sears Cup. The Sears Cup is one of the major awards for what? The Sears Cup is the uh, World Championship of Quality Aluminum Siding. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The Sears Cup, it goes to the guy with the nicest toolbox. Um, <laughs> now, don't no. kid Sears. All my clothes come from the men's store at Sears. You do I, get your clothes from Sears. Yes, aren't is these it, nice? The men's that, store at there's Sears. There's more for your life. <laughs> That's a great looking suit. Is that a Kenmore? I uh, <laughs> Say, I'm, I'm kidding, John. Here. John and I are friends. Would you we, answer this question? The polo, Sears. Polo. The it's Sears the polo. Cup I know that. is for Polo. Heidi, this is for the block. What do you think? I'll agree. No. no. Oh you would trust so this sure. face. Look at this face. Look at that face. Yeah, the, the man is. Did I say Polo? I didn't mean Polo. <laughs> no, you said Polo. It is, it is sailing. Can't put an X there. You'd have to rent yourself. Carl. Game number two is always our secret square game, and the player who chooses that square could win this. Shadow Stevens. It's a trip to Florida. Aha, we'll fly you and a companion from Los Angeles aboard Delta Airlines with standard and wide body service. You may visit their exclusive crown room lounge, experience their warm and friendly hospitality and flight furnished by Delta Airlines. And for seven nights and eight days, you'll enjoy the total fitness plan at Safety Harbor Spa and Fitness Center on Tampa Bay. Meals, daily massages, exercise classes, sports, skin care, uh, care, uh, skin care institute, and more. Furnished by Safety Harbor Spa and Fitness yeah. Center. Skin care, skin care. Let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. And back to the game. Hi, do you have to catch up? Pick a square. Brandon Tartikoff, please. Yes, president of NBC. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I might have gotten a little carried away before, you know, with all those pictures. I apologize. No, it's just fine. But Al. I've got another picture here. Right. <laughs> Al. Here's an idea for our show. You see this little guy on the right here? Yeah. yeah. I think Brandon should crash into the Tanner's roof on the next season. Uh, huh? What a guy. I mean that. Brandon, ignore him. Yeah. Always trying to help out. Don't pay any attention I'm to him, Brandon. To Here's help. your question. As a child of television, yes, we all are, I guess. Yeah. Your skill as a programmer probably goes way back to your youth, I would suppose. When you were a little kid, you used to, uh... I'd watch. Yeah. 
Let's turn the clock back. The year is 1957. You were nine years old. We want you to fill in the blanks and program the NBC Sunday night lineup for that year. Can we bring out the vice president of NBC here? Uh... I think I canceled this guy about three years. Is that Mr. Smith down there? I think so. He's back to work. Okay. Where would you position these programs? Do you see them there? First of all, I, it looks like you broke into my office, which uh, I think is at least a state offense. Yes? Do you have a board like that? Uh, yeah, and, huh? and a home game, too, if huh? anyone's interested. Well, in, in 1957, I wasn't allowed up after 8 o'clock, so I'll be guessing after that. But um, at, at the top of the night, I would put the amateur hour. To start off the evening? Yeah. All right, put it right there at 8 o'clock then. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Wise move. Uh, the next one I would put up would be the uh, Loretta Young Show. Loretta Sh Young Show. Young, Loretta Young Show. Sally uh, next. Yes, Sally. Steve Allen next. Steve Allen. Steve Allen next, yes. What's next? And uh, Dinah Shore right after that. Yes. And next? Is that everybody? Not a That's show. It. Uh, Heidi, it's your question. Do you agree or disagree that that was the right mic? I disagree. All right. We'll ask our vice president to help us out here. Mr. Vice President, please show us the correct answer. Very smart to disagree, oh, Heidi. Yes, yes, he was he was pretty good. That's pretty good for being nine years old, but uh, I, I got a little better as I got older. Not much. Yes, you but sure they were did. number one then. Over to you. I'd like to go with Jim J. Bullock. Jim Hello, J. Heidi. Bullock. Hi. Hi How are you? Fine. Good. Jim J. Yes, sir. And crowned by good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. What's that from? Well, John, it is from the song that I should think should be our national anthem, uh, America the Beautiful. Heidi, what do you think? I agree. That's it, America yeah. the Beautiful. Circle gets the square. Over you, Carl. Pick the square. Heidi, which way do you want hunting for that secret square now? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with Ed Begley Jr. You for the win. You're going to play it safe. All right. Ed Begley Jr. Okay. Ed, true or false, a man in Nevada was recently struck by lightning and his polyester socks melted. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I, I met Lucky once. I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Is this true or false? I asked you first. Um, well, that's God's way of saying don't, don't wear polyester, for starters. True or false? A man in Nevada struck by lightning, his polyester socks melted. This is for the win. Yes, it's very much true. He says, very much true, Heidi? I agree. It is true. All right! All right. Thanks, Ray. But otherwise, he was unharmed. We'll take a break and be right back. That's the only thing wrong happened to him. Let's hear a cheer for Ed Begley. We'll be right back. Square. Over to you, Heidi. Pick a square. Kim Fields, please. Kim Fields from Facts of Life. Hi, Kimmy. Kim, go, Kim, go. Yeah. Kim? John. Can elephants swim? Can elephants swim? Well, of course. That's why they have trunks, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tighten your tourniquet. She'll be back. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was um, very cute. That was good. <laughs> um, no. Can no. elephant? This sounds like why the chicken crossed the road, right? Can, I don't know. Can no, elephants can't. swim? You're no, saying they can't. no. Heidi, what do you think? I disagree. Good. Circle gets square. Yes, an elephant really? can oh, swim. The question is, can an elephant swim? Yes, there it is. Well, Carl, you have $700 up there. However, we have a new champion because Heidi Ruth has $900. She's our new champion. Congratulations, Heidi. Carl, you've won a grand total of $700 today. You had $1,000 from yesterday, $1,700. We hope you'll say hi to all those grandchildren. How about a nice hand for Carl for doing this? Nice meeting you. Heidi, I have a bowl here of five keys. One of those keys will start one of those Chevrolets. Pick a key. Oh, you are already doing it. You watch the show. Yes, I do. Now, that'll start one of those Chevrolets. Which car we want to try today? Will it start the Beretta? 
What about the Cavalier RS? Look at the Corsica. What about the 510 pickup? What about the 510 Blazer? Now, let me correct that. The cute car is far away. It's the S10 pickup and the S10 Blazer or the Corsica Cavalier Beretta. Which do you want, I'm Heidi? go with the Blazer, John. The Blazer and yeah. Heidi, right after this. We'll be right back. called on today. No, I didn't do very but much. But tomorrow in the last you year. will be. I here. hope so. You were in yeah. a funny square. <laughs> uh, Heidi has chosen this beautiful S10 Blazer. Shadow, tell us about the car. The S10 Blazer 4x4 with standard shift on the fly, instant track for fun on and off the road. The S10, today's Chevy truck. It's worth $12,079. I would have picked this one. Would you? I definitely Let's would. hope. Yes. On the count of three, audience and stars, help her out. One, <laughs> two, Tomorrow you'll be back. You'll be our reigning yeah. champion. All right, that's the good news. You gonna come back? Yes, I am. All our stars will be here, including Emma Sam. She'll have a one in four chance of winning. We hope you'll be here tomorrow. You have a one in one chance of enjoying Hollywood Squares tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. So far, Thank you. We're back again. It is Wednesday. Thank you, Shadow Stevens. What a voice. What a jacket. What a pair of glasses. Welcome back to the all-new Hollywood Squares. Hello, Squares. Hello, John. It is Wednesday. As I said, we have a reigning champion. Our challenger is a very good-looking young man. He could be Superman. He looks so wonderful. <laughs> Kurt Solom. Hi, Kurt. Welcome, Hi, Kurt, to the show. Thank you. Kurt, tell the stars all about yourself. What do you do? Well, I'm an emergency medicine resident at UCLA, and I live in Sherman Oaks with my wife and one-and-a-half-year-old daughter named Whitney. Good for you. Let's hope they're watching. We could use some emergency medical assistance here. Good luck on the show. You got your work cut out for you because she's awful sharp. Her name, our reigning champion, is Heidi Ruth. Let's hear it for Heidi. Hi, Hi Heidi. Now, we met you yesterday. Yes. You almost won the car. When you went back home, did your friends say anything about how you were on the show? Did they think you were good on the show? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell the stars all about yourself. Okay, I'm from Cerritos, California. I teach tap ballet and jazz lessons for the city of Cerritos. I'm a full-time student at Cal State Long Beach. Yeah, yay, Cal State yay. Long Beach. Good luck on the show. Here's how you do well here. You win tic-tac-toe, three squares across down a diagonally, or you acquire as many squares as you can. The winner of each game will receive $500 in cash. Something new this year. After the first couple of games, the last game will be worth $1,000. So whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance to drive away in one of these Chevrolets. Aren't they nice? Yeah. Thank you. As always, our challenger starts. Kurt, over to you, Heidi, pick a square. Brandon Tartikoff, please. The president of NBC, Brandon Tartikoff. <laughs> Brandon, we're so glad you're here with us. Nice to be here, John. Here's a question for you. Let's look at the primetime schedule, and let's go back in television history. Yesterday, we looked at 1957. Let's look at the primetime schedule. We'll ask you a question about it. Tuesday nights, the year is 1965. There's one of the NBC vice presidents coming out there to help you. Yes. Uh, there were lots of hit shows around that year, but our vice president just can't remember what show started off NBC's schedule that night. So help him out. Which of those memorable shows was in that opening time slot? Was it Hullabaloo, My Mother the Car, Hank, well, this brings back a lot of memories, isn't it? Camp Runamuck, Hey Landlord, or Brandon? Branded. Branded. Branded, yes, I was looking at your name. Which one started off the schedule in 1965? Where were you then? Uh, I was just getting out of reform school then, so <laughs> it's going to be a wild guess. Um, I would have to go with Hullabaloo. 
Hullabaloo. Heidi, now this man programs. He decides what goes on NBC. Since I wasn't even around. He says, Hullabaloo, start off their evening in Tuesday night, 65. What do you think? I'll agree. No. Mm. My Mother the Car, starring Jerry Van Dyke. <laughs> so, uh, X gets a square. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, how many packs of pickled peppers could Peter Piper pick to pack a bushel? Hey, John, that's easy. I mean, try asking a whoopee question. Thank you, Bob Eubanks and Dick Clark. As always, the game number two is our secret square game, and the player who chooses that could win this. Shadow. It's a home entertainment center, John. Oh. Starting with Panasonic's Hi-Fi VHS VCR, featuring built-in power amplifier with individual volume, treble, bass, and balance control, plus slow-motion playback, and Panasonic's high-tech 27-inch television stereo receiver, offering an exceptional picture, on-screen display, and four-speaker sound system, and...